Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes, but loves front end development. In today's video, I wanted to give you a quick update on what's coming out on this channel. I have a plenty of Barba.js tutorials coming out over the next few weeks where you will learn how to use Barba.js to create page transitions on your smaller projects, static pages, WordPress sites, marketing sites, anywhere where you don't have page transitions and you would like to create them then Barba.js is the way to go. Okay, so now let's have a look at few demos that we will cover over the next few weeks. In the first demo, we will use Barba CSS plugin and we'll create a simple transitions using CSS transitions. So we will only use the Barba's functionality to add classes to your containers. And then inside of the style sheet, you adding CSS transitions to fade things in, fade things out, so the CSS or the transition is done using CSS, but we're using Barba JavaScript functionality to add the right class at the right time. Okay, so in this demo, we will create a simple transitions because that's where CSS is handy for. And we'll do some of the more advanced animations using GreenSock. But in this demo, it's purely CSS, couple transitions, couple pages. So the URL changes all the time and then we'll sliding back to home. Okay, so four pages for different transitions and we will configure Barba in a way that you are in full control which transition is played when. So from which page you're going to which page, you're in full control of which transition is being played in the browser. Okay, so that's the first demo. In the second demo, we will use images loaded and we will be preloading the incoming page. Okay, so there is a simple preloader showing up the next page, the page that is coming into a view, we are passing it to images loaded to preload all the images, and then we're revealing the page again. Okay, so this will be the implementation, how to preload the images before we're showing the full page on the page transition. Okay, so that's the second demo. Then I have two demos that look similar but they use two different libraries. They are for smooth scrolling. The first one is using locomotive scroll. We're not doing any parallax animations or any animations at all. This is purely just to know how to implement Barba with locomotive scroll and how to refresh the scroll container after the page transition. Okay, so no rocket science, very simple transition on this one using GreenSock, just fading in, fading out. and the same thing will be used on the third or fourth demo that is using smooth scroll bar and other smooth scrolling plugin or library. And again, we will learn how to use the Barba hooks to update or refresh the scroll container after the page transition. Okay, so very handy once you figure out which hook to use and where to update the scroll container implementing third party libraries like smooth scroll bar or locomotive scroll will become very easy. Okay, and in the last one, last demo, we have a little bit more complex transition using GreenSock. We are removing the images and bringing the new set of images like you see on the screen and also the detail page is nicely revealed as well. Okay, so this is a little bit more advanced but it will show you how you can set up the animations. And again, how are you in control of which animation plays between these two pages? They are just simple categories pages. And what animation plays when you click on any of the images to reveal the detail of the project. Okay, so that's where we have these five demos. All five of them will teach you a lot about Barba and how to set it up on your own project. Okay, so if you're working on some marketing pages, static pages or anything that doesn't have a router, doesn't have page transitions, Barba is a very handy plugin that will help you implement it. And in the series of tutorials that will be coming out over the next few weeks, you will learn exactly how to do that. If you have any questions regarding page transitions or Barba in general, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding.